Hello, my name is Seda Altuntop, and today I'm going to solve an influence line question in trust systems. Uh, the question is: Draw the influence line for the force in member CF, and then determine the maximum force (tension or compression) that can be developed in this member due to a uniform light load of 12 kN per meter, which is transmitted to the truss along the bottom cord. First, we need to decide locations to apply the unit load. The key is make sure we apply enough points. In this case, I will apply the unit load at point B, C and D. We are not going to apply at point A and E because when we apply at supports, there is no load generated anywhere in the truss. Now uh, I will apply the unit load at point B and I will find FCF. Um, I will draw a free body diagram. Support reactions are AY and EY and I'll take moment with respect to point E and anti-clockwise direction is positive and this moment is equal to zero and it equals to minus AY times 12 plus 1 times 9. After the calculations, Ay is equals to 0 0.725 compression. Then, to find FCF, I will cut the truss from here and I will draw the free body diagram the left side of truss this is FGF this is FCD and this is FCF this is 0 0.75 this is 1 and I know that this angle is 45 degrees because these two dimensions are equal to each other. Now, uh, I know that vertical total vertical uh, reaction force uh, is equal to zero. And it is 0 0.75 minus one plus FCF times sine 45 uh, which is square root of 2 over 2 and after the calculations FCF is equal to 0 0.354 and I will repeat all these steps for point C again I will draw a free body diagram is point C and I will take moments with respect to point E equals to zero and it equals to minus AY times 12 plus 1 times 6 and after the calculations AY is equals to 0 0.5 compression again I'm looking the left side of truss. I will draw it again.
and again the total force at vertical direction is equals to zero it is 0 0.5 minus 1 plus F C F times square root of 2 over 2 and from this equation FCF is equal to 0 0.707 and I will repeat all these steps for point D I'm taking moment with respect to point A and it's equals to zero and it is equals to and there is a sorry the unit load is at point D and moment equals to minus AY times twelve plus one times 3 and a y is 0 0.25 compression uh, now again I'm drawing the left side of truss FCF FGF Sorry, FCF and FCD. This is 0 0.25. In this step, unit load is in the right side, so our equation doesn't include the unit load. Um, I will write the equation now. Total FY is equal to 0, it's equal to 0 0.25 plus FCF times square root of 2 over 2 and from this equation FCF is equals to minus 0 0.354 now I know FCF at all points I can draw the influence line I will make a table there is a X FCF It is zero, it is zero point three hundred fifty four. Minus and zero. Now I'm drawing to influence line. It is point B and it is 0 0.354, it is point C and this is 0 0.707 and at point D it is minus 0 0.354 and this is 0. After I draw the influence line, I need to find value of x. Um, from similarity, I can write this equality. This is comes from triangles similarity. And from this equation, x is equals to 2. Now I'm looking the large positive area in influence line. It tells me 
where to put the load in order to maximize the effect. Since the positive area is much larger, maximum FCF will be tension and I will use this triangles area to find maximum, fo maximum force. Here is 8, it comes from um, 6 plus 2 and here is 0 0.707 and from the triangles area one over two times zero point seven hundred seven times eight times twelve which is magnitude of uniform light load and after the calculations the maximum force is 33.94 kilonewton thanks for watching